Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about adding an install and boot image within your WDS. So let's get started. So first things first, uh, I think on the last video, I showed you guys how to install WDS within a server 2019 environment. And today we are going to uh, add an install image as well as a boot image. So first thing that you need to do is open up your Windows deployment services. And from here, we're gonna right click on the boot image node and pick add boot image. Now you need to make sure you have your ISO mounted on your virtual machine or you extracted the content within the ISO on a local folder, on your desktop, wherever, uh, because this is where you need to locate that image file. So we're gonna click on browse and within browse, I'm gonna go this PC and I mounted my ISO within my virtual machine, which is the D drive. So I clicked on the D drive and within D drive, I went inside sources. Now within sources, you're going to see the boot.wim file. So we're gonna click on it, click on open, click next. You could change the image name in the image description. It's really up to you. I'm gonna leave everything as the default. Click next, next. It's gonna start adding the boot image within your WDS. Once it's completed, it's gonna say the operation is completed and you are able to click finish. And that's it. That is how you add your boot image. Pretty simple. Now, the next thing that we need to do is add an install image. Highlight your install image node, right click on it, and we're going to pick add install image. We're gonna get a nice little wizard. Uh, create an image group name. I gave it BTNHD Win 10. Click next. From here, we need to locate the install.wim file. So click on browse. And again, within my D drive, because I mounted my ISO, we need to go back inside sources and you're going to pick install.wim, click on open, install, and my WIM image has a bunch of uh, Windows 10 versions. So pick what you want. I uncheck everything and I only pick Windows 10 Enterprise because that is the one that I want to deploy. From here, click on next. Next again, it's gonna start adding the Windows image within your WDS. Once you get this dialog box, the operation is completed. We're gonna click on finish and that's it. That is how we import an install image and a boot image within your WDS. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.